These right here are called slappy trucks. At first glance, they might seem like your normal run of the mill trucks, but there are a few things that I noticed right off the bat, like how much lower the kingpin is than typical. So when you do Smith grinds, you're not just grinding up against this nut right here. Apparently it's supposed to feel immediately broken in as soon as you put it on a board. Kind of doubt that just because trucks have always been the bane of my existence. So I'm really excited to try out these brand new trucks from a new company that I'll go more into detail in a little bit. Right now I got to set up actually a brand new complete. Here is what the trucks look like. Looks pretty solid. It looks a little more square than I'm used to. Like it's literally just like such a flat surface. Maybe that's normal, but to me it looks a little, it looks unique. The test is to see how it rolls. I'm just gonna step on it for the first time while filming to see if it actually feels straight natural off the bat. Wait, it actually feels kind of good. Usually when you get new trucks, they're really loose at the beginning and then you have to warm up to them. So you break them in. The more you turn, you don't even need to tighten or loosen. You just keep turning on them and they eventually get tighter. Right now, this kind of feels, it feels less loose than trucks normally feel when you first step on them. So that's good. I feel like I can just kind of jump straight into it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm here for one thing. When it comes to skateboarding today, I really am kind of over doing the whole like 40 or 50 different tricks that are kind of like easy for me. I wanna start planning on doing more of like one or two or three big tricks. So I'm gonna jump straight into it. The main thing I wanna skate is this ledge right here. That's literally the reason I drove out here. I have a combo that I have in mind. I think it'll be fun. So we're just gonna jump straight into warming up on this, skating this, and trying to do this hard trick on this. actually decided to try tightening my trucks just a little bit. I definitely like skating tighter trucks now. It seems to be helping with a lot of the tricks that I've been struggling with in the past. So I'm gonna tighten them uh, probably a full turn, like a full 360, which is kind of a lot, and see if it, uh, see if I can feel the difference immediately or if they just still need to be broken in a little more. Oh my God, they feel so tight. Also for this ledge, the dream trick is like a flip in combination into a hurricane, so maybe some kind of variation into the front board. I was thinking fakie flip front board to hurricane. I feel like that would be such a cool combination. But for now, uh, let's work up on the variations leading up to that. It feels better than trucks. like I could actually work up to this pretty well. Actually, first, let's talk about these trucks and then I'll get into what I'm talking about in a minute. These trucks are actually by Mike Sinclair. He's someone from North Carolina, but he also judges a lot of contests. He was the team manager for Nike SB for a long time. And I think he's delegated a lot of his responsibilities to different crews now. So for contests and judges, he can now actually get like a crew of people to do it for him. Technically, I guess, I think he hires out. Sorry if I'm getting a little bit of this wrong, but he's just been in the game for so long now that he's very involved in skateboarding in the back end. So he was just in North Carolina during COVID and was like, I kind of want to try a truck company, which is extremely brave since it's a hard good company. There's not going to be much profit or return, but as skateboarders know, trucks are kind of the bane of all of our existence. So to be able to de develop a truck that is new or even slightly better is an amazing thing. I've always been skating thunders for the longest time and I'm totally okay with them. There are a few issues with the bushings that I've had with the last couple of trucks to where they would kind of be locked in sideways, which was strange. So far, these feel totally fine. They do feel somewhat broken into almost immediately. Not right away, because I had to tighten them, but after I've tightened them so far, nothing really feels odd. Like it feels like I can do kind of all the flip tricks. I'm already hopping into fakie flip front boards, or yeah, which is new for new trucks. So, so far, I'm actually digging how these feel, but we're gonna see, I mean, we're not gonna see. I've, I've skated a lot, so I think, we're, I think we're good. I'm gonna keep skating them though. Let's do this trick first, and then I'll kind of get into sort of the whole what I'm trying to do with all these hard tricks. Oh, this should have been 
You'd be surprised at how often this happens, but the lighting is basically destroying the spot. I am way too sore. Uh, my legs still hurt from this stair set session that I had the other day, but for today, I'm sore. So we're gonna have to get back a different session, different day, but so far the trucks feel totally broken into pretty much in the first like 20 minutes. I didn't feel like I had to get used to them after I tightened them, which is crazy. Anyways, so far so good, Slappy. Four days later, we've arrived at Sheldon. This is Graffiti Skate Park. I skated two days ago and actually didn't even notice that I was skating new trucks. I completely forgot about it, so that's a really, really good sign. Today, I'm trying to heal a little bit, so I'm not gonna go too hard, but I will tinker. I'll tinker with whatever I can find. Fortunately, the trucks feel incredible. Like I am completely used to them immediately, essentially, like after that first little session. I mean, I even got used to it when I was doing the fakie flip front board. I didn't even notice that I was skating new trucks, but this obviously isn't the best video for grading something like this because you also want to test the longevity of products. I've been skating Thunders for a long time. And honestly, a lot of the Thunders that I skate, one of the issues is that the truck slowly starts kind of bending to the side. It takes a while and I am very aggressive with my trucks. Like if they're not doing what I need them to do, I will grab them and like force them into position, which clearly is going to be really bad for the truck. So we'll have to see with the longevity of these. I just know that they break in really fast and that's actually cool. And that's the whole point of these trucks I think so far is to break in immediately and to not catch on Smith grind type tricks, which I haven't yet. So this is cool. last cable back 50 attempt destroyed my right butt cheek. It's pulling and hurting and stretching. And I should probably talk about something else, but it is, it's pain, pure pain right now. I've been going way too hard, but I, I'm sure you've been seeing that the LA process has been very productive so far. Been having an insane amount of fun and skating a lot and just doing a lot of other stuff as well, just because LA is, you can just do so much. So the hard part about LA is trying to decide what to do. Like you're like, all right, which way do I approach my career and maximize my job, et cetera? So it's actually, I mean, for me, it's fun. It's a little anxiety inducing, but as long as I'm like creating, skating, doing art, having fun, then I'm, I'm totally happy and fine. So for now, I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm pumping them out whenever I go skate, and I hope that it's okay that I'm being kind of like nonchalant about them right now. I'm not really trying to come up with like gimmicky ideas for YouTube right now because it's very, very, antithetical. It's like the opposite of what I'm actually trying to do with skateboarding. So I feel like it's, it's counterproductive. So these are kind of the sessions I want. I want to do hard tricks and I want them to be good and impressive and fun. And I want to look back at the hard tricks rather than doing a lot of tricks where it's just kind of like, it, ma it makes for a good video because it fills out the video. But when I go back, I'm like, I don't care about any of those tricks. And I kind of hate the idea that I'm creating not for the sake of longevity. I want to be able to look at the tricks and kind of be like, yes, that was cool. I'm trying to like basically create like a video part version of the tricks that I do at skate parks where I can just have a whole series of tricks where I'm like, wow, I'm really proud that I did this, especially this year. You know, I'm the oldest I've ever been. <laughs> Obviously that's how it works. And I'm still able to kind of one up myself and one up myself. And that to me is really cool or just be more creative and come up with new ideas in skating. I'm just trying to progress daily. Okay, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.